Hi, and welcome to another edition of Jules Voto's Photo Focus. In this video, I'm going to be comparing high ISO noise between the Nikon D700, which is a DSLR, and the Nikon Z8, a mirrorless camera. Now, the D700 was introduced in the summer of 2008. So it's a 16-year-old camera now as this video is being made in 2024. The Z8 came out in 2023, a year ago. So there are 15 years between these cameras. The D700 is a 12 megapixel full frame camera. It uh, is based on the Nikon D3, which was Nikon's first full frame digital camera, which was introduced in 2007. Now, the D3 had a very good reputation for great high ISO noise, low high ISO noise. And the D700 had basically the same sensor, so it was equally good at high ISO performance. The main difference was the D3 was a professional camera with a built in grip and battery pack, took a larger battery and had a higher frame rate, among a few other things. So in comparing it to the Nikon Z8, the Z8, as I said, was introduced in 2023, is a 45 megapixel camera, and it is considered the baby Z9. Same sensor as the Z9, same autofocus system. It doesn't have the built-in grip, takes a smaller capacity battery. Now the pixel pitch on the D700 is twice as large as that of the Z8 and everything else being equal, you would think the Z700 should have lower high ISO noise. However, technology has advanced and like I said, we are now 15 years past the introduction of the D700. So this is my normal test setup. I use this for testing noise, for testing sharpness of lenses, among other things. And uh, I had both cameras on a tripod. First shot with the Z8 using the 50 millimeter 1.8 F mount lens with the F to Z adapter. My exposure at ISO 400 was one third of a second at 5.6. And as I increased the ISO, I shortened the shutter speed to keep the exposures the same. Did a custom white balance with both cameras off a gray card. And again, just kept everything exactly the same. I used autofocus with both cameras focusing on the mannequin's face. Lighting was just the recessed lights in the room. Uh, I believe there were five 65 watt recessed lights. And again, like I said, I took a. Um, did a white balance with both cameras off of the gray card. Now the Z8 is my camera. I've owned it since its introduction. The D700 belongs to my son and I borrowed it to do this test. Now I will be doing a full test review, whatever you want to call it, on the D700 in the coming weeks. So look for that. The D700 seems to be a very popular camera now. Again, 15 years after its introduction, has a great reputation, and you could pick them up for under $400. So I think it's a great buy for, uh, if you're into DSLRs, it's a great choice. Okay, so let's get into the testing now. And this is the full image, and I will be placing these images in a gallery that you could download at no charge. I will put a link at the end of this video to those images. Okay, so here is the first image at ISO of 400. On the left, we have the Z8, and on the right are, is the uh, D700. And I cropped it down to just the central portion to try to show the difference in noise. You're better off, if you really wanna get a good look at this, to download those images. Like I said, I will put a link 
in the description below to full size JPEGs. So at an ISO of 400, I see very little difference between the images. I, I think they're uh, just about identical. Same here for 800. Again, on the left for all these images, the Z8 will be on the left and the D700 on the right. And again, I feel there is very, very little difference, if any, even color. The color seems to hold up well on both images. If you look at the color checker chart, I think they look identical. Uh, noise is just about the same. Now, when we get to 1600, here's where the Z8 has a little bit of improvement. I think both images are completely acceptable. You will notice if you look at the mannequin head, there's a slight difference in the color there, but I really don't see that in the uh, color checker. Uh, but again, noise is very close with a slight edge to the Nikon Z8, which is to be expected. It's a much newer camera. Okay, so now we go to 3200. And here the Z8 starts to pull away a little bit. I think the image from the D700 is perfectly acceptable as long as you don't go too big. And, you know, some people can put up with a little more noise than others. For me, either one would work fine at the ISO of 3200. Now, when we get to 6400 here, you could really start to see a, a, a big improvement with the Z8. Uh, I would say the D700 is usable, but uh, just barely. And 6400 is the end of the D700's native range. Above that, you're on extended ISO, and Nikon really doesn't recommend using that except in a pinch. And you could see that here uh, when using the equivalent of 12,800 on the D700. And there is considerable noise with the D700. And also, if you look at the face of the mannequin, it seems that we're losing some color, although it's not as noticeable in the uh, color checker. Now, these results are not surprising to me. I have used the Z8 at high ISO and I've been very pleased. And there is some noise. And if you want to completely eliminate that, if you have Lightroom, you can use Denoise, which does a fantastic job. And I should have pointed out earlier in the video that the uh, high ISO setting on both cameras, the high ISO noise reduction was set to normal. And the picture control on both cameras was set to standard. So find the link in the description below and follow it to download the images. They're JPEGs, they're full-size JPEG images right out of the camera. And I should add that if you look at the white card right below the mannequin head, that will indicate to you what ISO was used for that particular image. The last one circled in red, like here it's 12,800. That's how this one was shot at 12,800. And if the last one circled would, let's say, was 1600, then that image was shot at 1600. So review the images, and I'd like to hear your comments and your opinions and your questions on anything in this video. I'm happy to answer any questions, and I try to respond to all comments and all questions. So look for my D700 video coming up soon, probably in a couple of weeks. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I publish a new video every Monday morning and Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time.